everyone, it's Pete here. So today we're going to be upgrading the steering servo in my big rock here to one of these JX EcoBoost servos. Now I've used these in my other Armour 3S's and they're really good and really speedy and responsive. The one in there isn't bad to be fair, but uh, this is a little bit better. So the main problem with upgrading the servo on one of these version 3 Armour 3S's is, is that the servo that it comes with has got a 23 tooth spline and most servos that you're going to buy are like this, which have got a 25 tooth spline. And the trouble is that the servo horn is obviously designed for the 23 tooth spline and the correct thing to do would be to buy a new servo horn with the 25 tooth spline. But what I'm going to do is to squash it on there and make it fit. I'll just put a battery into them quickly just to test how quick the current servo is. So it just needs to detach the servo horn from the steering linkage. So if you turn the steering, you can get to the screw there, and it's a two mil hex. Okay, that's detached there. All right, so first up, we've got to take the ESC off so we can get to the receiver box so we can unplug this one. Okay, that's that, and then there's the four servo screws. Let's get this out. It's a little clip here for the wire. There's a little sort of waterproof ish seal on this as well. Some servos, this one. Okay, so we need the servo horn. Okay, so you see the problem is this doesn't really want to fit on there and so I'm going to squash it on. But before I do that, I'm just going to centralise this to make sure it's in the right position so I can put the servo horn back on. Okay, so on the transmitter I've got the steering rate up to full, I've got the steering trim in the middle there and I'll leave that in the middle, switch him on. So the servo seemed to work okay and I've just left that in the centre. So that doesn't want to sit on the splines at the moment so it's going to put that roughly where it needs to be and forcibly put the screw in. Okay, so that's gone on fine. So let's cut some new splines into the plastic. So what I'm going to do is take the screw out, put a bit of thread lock on, and then do it up, but not quite so tightly to make sure that the servo saver can actually function properly. So I'm just doing that moderately tight. We'll just check that's working in a sec. So if I just try and force that off centre, you can see how that springs back okay. So the middle stays where it is. So that's working properly. Just tuck the wires and make sure they don't get snagged by the top. Quite difficult to get all the wires through that little waterproof thing. Right, so we just need to reattach the linkage. Okay, so all back together, let's see how it is compared with how it was. agree much more speedy so that's that done but what I also wanted to show you was the ability to take this whole module out with the ESC and the receiver box and the servo and you can get to the underside of the steering and it might be useful to do this say if you've uh, tightened up your servo saver too much so it's sticking uh, off center or whatever so in my case I've got this pivot ball set and one of these goes in the steering linkage so I need to get this out 
So there's the arm that attaches the end of the servo saver to the steering linkage and that's one end of it you can see there. Let me turn the steering a bit, you can see the other end there. So I'm going to undo this end this time. So that's detached the steering. So then it's these four screws to detach the module. So you can see on the bottom here they give you a useful diagram that neutral is just with that straight down the servo like that. You can see the little arm there that attaches the servo to the steering linkage here. So one thing to note is that uh, you can do this screw up too tight because that, that can move around okay but if you did that up too tight then that won't move properly so you've just got to make sure that you don't do that up as tight as you possibly can just tight enough so it doesn't come out. So as you saw before you don't actually need to take this out to change the servo but you might find it helpful. So while I'm in here I'm just going to change this plastic pivot ball for this metal one. Okay so when this goes back together you just need to make sure that arm goes underneath that bit there. Right, it just needs to line these up. Okay, so that's good to go, and this one won't get wasted. I'll use this in a Tamiya kit. With the Tamiya kit, you always get a choice of servo horns depending on how many splines your servo's got, so that'll be good for that. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh.